hello friends welcome back to our channel so in today's video guys we will see how you can implement jquery full calendar in your sp.net application so currently the application we have is the sp.net web forms but uh, you can use similarly for sp.net mbc and for sp.net core also okay so uh, for using a jquery full calendar you will need uh, these cdn file so don't worry about the code because we will provide you the code uh, in the video description so we will provide you a link of the uh, article where you can find all this code and copy from there okay so here we will first need to add the cdn files for full calendar and then we will take this div here and we will give the id calendar and then we have to initialize the calendar in the jquery and you can see the initialize calendar here and this is the id which is the same id that we have uh, for the div okay so and then we will initialize the full calendar and then you can provide the details like uh, uh, which buttons you want and what will be the alignment so these are the details like height and width of the calendar and these are some customizable properties here and now uh, you can see day click event so this will be firing when you click on any day for the uh, adding a new event okay and this one will be calling when you want to format your data um, while binding the full calendar okay so now we will just uh, see how it works okay so we will just run the application So we will also see how you can add event uh, to the database and how you can bind your full calendar from there. So this is the full calendar that you can see. Okay, so like for example, first of all, how we are binding this, we will see that. Okay. Um, okay, guys. So what we have to do is we have to pass the data and the data we are getting from this um, get calendar data method which is here on the default.aspx okay and here we are getting the data from the database so you can see that we have made a database call and we are getting all the calendar events so the most important thing in this is, is the start time and the end time and the date okay and then you can also set the colors as per your requirement so i have set this color here so now on the um, view part here so when we get the calendar data it will be returned in the success method and uh, this one what we will be doing is we will be uh, creating the strings like our requirement so because we need the start time and the end time combined with that so that we are doing here we are uh, setting the text here that the start time and the end time is here okay and here we are setting the background color so this this is for formatting the string that we will pass to the uh, events here so you can see that we are showing the uh, time start time and end time so that is going from here so this is the title that we are passing which is showing uh, in the uh, highlighted area okay uh, so now this is the background color that we are setting and you can see the background color here okay so you can even customize the html as per your requirement but currently we are not doing that okay so now uh, for saving any new command uh, new event so like when we click on this then it will show the pop-up so for this what we have done is uh, we have this pop up here and in this we have these three fields start date start time and end time okay and then when we click on this add event here then we are firing the uh, this event and here we are getting the data from the uh, form and we are calling the save event method so save event method is here here and we are passing the object here and then we are saving that in the database and then after we get the success we are again reinitializing the calendar and so that it will bind the new event also 
so we will see it now so we will just uh, add one new event here and when we click on add event then it will add the event here so this is how it is working guys and if you need the code part then what you can do is you can go to our official website go to net.com and here we will provide you a direct link so don't worry about that part so here we have jquery full calendar integrated in sp.net so here is the code that we just seen in the video uh, so if you like the article and if this works for you then you can also join us on whatsapp and facebook uh, and these are the direct links of that so you can join us there for future videos so you can download the video from here and you can use that so this is all the code that we just seen in the video uh, so thank you guys and let us know if you face any kind of issue thank you